Oh, right. We were staking out the shop. Oh, that's right. We were going to disguise ourselves. Crap, I don't remember any of it. <laughs> ah. Oh, here she comes. Satori is here. We chose the worst spot to take a break. Let's quietly it's fine. follow her. <laughs> when she starts talking to her acquaintances, we'll find a safe spot to begin possessing them. It's fine. I remember that. Really I forgot we're possessed. Side, I'll leave that to you. I trust you'll know what to say. Yeah, can you reverse time just in case I don't? Kind of nervous. Okay, let's go. Looks like they've already started talking. Let's find a hiding spot and get started. <laughs> Brother, do you remember uh, mm. any of this? Uh, she has two cats that can tell the future. Yeah, okay. or something. We're doomed. <laughs> what? I gave you what I remembered. I remembered that too. Well, there's there's cats. I don't remember why it has to be us though. Why are we doing this? Um. Oh, that's not healthy looking. That's right. You really can't force anything when it comes to love. And besides, everyone around me has a very different background and outlook. My hands are small for some reason. <laughs> uh, are you still listening to me, Nabia? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, of course I'm listening. You were talking about troubles with your love life, right? I heard everything you said. <sighs> okay, then. You just seemed a little distracted for a moment there. Oh, that's right. We're trying to make her feel guilty or something. Yeah, she has to go back to her people. Uh-oh. Shh. The cat that knows. strange. Your cats seem pretty worked up. Is something wrong? Yes. Go back to your people. I think that's what we were trying to that, do. That's what the cats are telling me. Listen to that kitten. Look look at this cat. She's saying go back to your people. I can't even, I don't even know if she's being on the Is she on the camera? Thank you. Wait, move your I can't. I'm No, I'm on your hand. Oh my hand? Yeah, so the three cats are telling you to go back I home. I thought they were quiet, happy kitties. Oh, what are their names? Oh again? flip! Ah, flippin'. Ah. Um. Oh, oh dude. Um. Uh. Flippin'. Uh. Oh, no. I'm sure this will be fine no matter what. I'm thinking it's the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, top one. I, Tamaru, I'm Tamaru? The, the Hamru and Tamaru. I'm, I, right? I, oh. I, maybe. Flip. I'm like, yeah, I remember the cats, except their names. Don't remember those. I'm sure, that won't be important. Oh, yeah. Go with the top one. Hmm. Are you sure? Those aren't ringing a bell for some reason. Yep. Nope. That was a joke. Positive. It no. was funny. Uh, well, actually, they have many names. Which names I use depends on my mood. Right. Huh. I see. I imagine that must be hard for the kitties, too. Too sus, too sus. Uh, backing up, backing up, backing up. I, I mean, I mean, it's it's going okay. I mean, we haven't, we, uh, it's, we're not doomed yet. Ahem. So, which fortune do you want me to read for you today? You must have come for another echo of the divine voice of wisdom. Hmm. I'd like to get another reading on my love prospects. But to be perfectly honest with you, I feel like I've been a real mess recently. Oh, poor girl just wants some love. Doesn't everyone. She just wants to find love. A mess? <gasps> well, um, could you do a reading on how long it'll take me to finish my current project at work? I really just want to get it over with. Mm, oof. I hear you. No problem at all. Uh, the gods will reveal the truth. Um. Um. Dum. Um. Yes. <laughs> oh, the gods have spoken. Uh, yes, that. Yes, yes, that one. <laughs> Sorry, your new laugh is just so hilarious. I couldn't help it. Thank you. Thanks. Oh. Uh. Please pay no mind 
into those kinds of details. Yes. The gods are asking. Sitaria, why haven't you gone home? <gasps> why Gasp. haven't I gone home? Do the gods really know everything I've been thinking about? Ah, so you admit it! You feel guilty! Sitaria, why don't you just go home? It's a demand now instead of a question. Oh, the gods seem to be truly upset. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I'm sorry. I know I failed the gods. Please pass on my most sincere apologies and ask for their divine forgiveness. Wait. And if I may ask, Nabia, oh, is there a specific god who's speaking to you right now? Yeah, I, can't I can't read your lips. Hmm. What an inconsiderate and naive question. The god who is speaking to oh. me is, of course, the wisest and mightiest of all, the Scarlet King. I kind of was guessing that that was probably the, the safest Scarlet option. Scarlet King? No wonder he would make such a demand of me. Oh, wait a second. The Scarlet King passed away a long time ago. Even though news of the Scarlet King's resurrection has been spreading like wildfire, it's all just a misinformation campaign from the Academia. How can the Scarlet King still exist Yo, in real life? Whoa! Whoa! Wait, whoa! Wait a sec! Whoa, whoa, you're crossing wait. a little too far into real life there as wait, well. Wait, also pause. So the Academia is the one spreading that. Wait. Okay then. Oops. I did not see that coming. Huh. I thought it was going to be a rival Insolence. faction. I am the Scarlet King's most loyal believer. Do you wish to refute his voice of wisdom? Okay, we're kind of oh, pushing no, no. it. As a child of the desert, I am only reveling in his power upon learning that his divine glory has touched even this city. Mm-hmm. But then why are you missing... <laughs> what? I will think very carefully about his demand of me. I'm sorry. I must go now. So hopefully that went well. Uh, wait! I think we could have done that a little better. I mean, all we messed up was the cat's Well, name. we also messed up her laugh, apparently. I mean, her laugh is... It's better now. We improved it. <laughs> didn't see a thing. You didn't see a thing. There's nobody there. Whoa! She just ran off in a hurry. She looked pretty upset, too. Well done. Sitaria didn't seem to suspect anything amiss. <laughs> sure she did. Wait, how is the little girl over there? Is she good? To have something uh, she's, she's been fine. trying okay. desperately to avoid show up out of nowhere and berate her? That must have shaken her to the core. Yeah, there she is. She's like, what the freak? Where, where, Aww, what happened? Nahida, it seems like you understand human emotions really well after all. All I know are some abstract Haribatop theories. In any case, my time with you has shown a lot of them to be utterly useless. I'm still trying to make sense of everything. Mm. Anyway, enough of that. Let's hurry and catch up to Sataria. He's out of keep now. Hey. Right on cue. Let's get ready to possess him right away. Boy. That sounds so weird. It's gotten into Harut and Maru. Dang it! It was wrong. Terrified of me all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, poor kitties! <sighs> oh. Wait, no, wait, I want to read their names! No! Ah. Yeah, it was his father's place, right? I'm trying to remember now. Yes, something about his father gave him the business something. <sighs> it's okay. I just got caught up in something. Oh, actually, didn't you ask me to help you look for work? What kind of work were you looking for again? Masonry work. Masonry, obviously. Oh, right. Your old man's craft. How could I forget? Yep. Speaking of, <laughs> yeah. how's he doing? Is he feeling any better? He's feeling a lot better. He's walking more now. Because he got in that accident, right? But but which one? He's feeling a lot better. He can lift stuff now. I he, Wait, I think he broke his leg. So probably the walking. walking? Oh, that's good to hear. Whew. I have been thinking a lot about him. 
If I could get some more time off, I'd love to pay him a visit. We're good. Actually, while we're talking about him, is he still living in Port yes. Ormos? Yes, he is. I'm pretty sure, yeah, he said that. Yeah, he's been retired there for a while. Oh, that one you answer! <laughs> we knew it! <laughs> I know the last two. If you could True. find the time, please write him a letter. Please pass on that recently, faith in the Scarlet King has taken root in Port Ormos and has begun to spread across Sumeru. What? Even though it's your doing? He has a quick temper and has always been a devout follower of the Dendro Archon. I don't want him to get into a fight with those Scarlet King believers because of a difference in beliefs. It's more of a difference of who they follow, but you know, whatever. Oh? So, who are you siding with in all of this? The Academia or the Scarlet King? Uh, I... <sighs> I'm Ooh, so boy. jealous of you. You were born a child of the desert. Yet you chose to betray the Scarlet King, and now you spend all your time with those crooks from the Academia. Dang! What? Akeem, you don't mean you've also become a believer of the Scarlet King? This is going to be really confusing afterwards. Yeah. What's so strange about becoming a believer of the wise Scarlet King? In fact, aren't you the strange one? The one who still can't pick a side? Jeez, we're really laying into her, aren't we? I can't pick a side? Me? Traveler, what the heck, man? Sheesh. Whoa, I had no idea you'd be so good at this. I didn't either, I'm going to be honest. Before I knew it, I really started getting into the role. Oh, that's you know? up. Oh, well, get out of it a bit more. <laughs> you really zeroed in on the issue and put it right in front of her. It might feel a bit overwhelming for Sataria. But we need to break, change her mind on this. Right. What about the guy? I feel bad for him. He's going to wake up and be like, what the freak? The next but time she sees him. everything is over, I'll be sure to pay her a visit fine. to her mind and explain everything. Oh. Anyway, let's keep going. Why can't we do that now? Why didn't you do that in the first place? Oh, well, it's probably... Oh, ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <sighs> This is what you do for being a jerk! No, wait. I went to talk to the guy! I wasn't even close! I, oh. Uh, so, Shishan, have you noticed anything weird in the city lately? Oh, wait, that's this girl. She was interested. What was she interested in? She was I, interested in something. I don't remember. Like, as if someone was trying to preach to you about something? In the basement, that's right. And I've been spending all my time studying in the basement. That's right. It was the basement. Yeah, the basement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Secret room. Oh, right. Speaking of strange things, I celebrated the Subzerus festival so many times that I lost count. That was really weird. Wait. How could you be aware of that? That should be impossible. Nothing in the report indicated anything like that. So you were aware of all of that. You are a scumbag. Well, remember, because she was one of the fake people? Mm, yeah. So, yeah, she was totally aware. Are you still failing to realize that the Academia's lowly tricks could never deceive all of Sumeru's citizens? Jishan, <laughs> uh, uh, don't tell me that you've converted to the Scarlet King as well. Yes, it is I, <laughs> the Scarlet King. <laughs> what? What an absurd question. You make it sound like I should be ashamed for becoming a believer of the Scarlet King. In reality, shouldn't you be the one who is ashamed? You, who worked side by side with the Academia, and treated people as nothing more than experimental subjects? Oof! Ouch. Please, please stop! Bro, if I was... If I was this girl, I'd be... Kind of shaken up right now. Even now, Satari is still trying to run from her problems. Did I push too hard? She can no longer justify everything to herself. Hey, she's trying to talk to the guards. What should we do? This is the most important part of all. Quick, get ready. Ah. Uh, Mercenary, you're what? a member of the Corps of Thirty, correct? Please help me pass a message to the Matra right away. The situation in the city is getting out of control. Please, so try to remain calm, miss. Tell me what's happening in the city. 
Heretics are infiltrating the city, and they've already converted many residents to their side. Oh, sucks Heretics. to be you. What kind of heresy are you talking about? The Scarlet King! Ooh. Many people I know have suddenly started believing in him, but he's long dead. It's impossible. This poor girl is having her entire world rocked right now. <laughs> I feel bad! I feel terrible. <laughs> but... Miss Sataria, nothing is impossible. Time to finish her off, I guess. Oh, flip. Y you know my name? The yeah. The Scarlet King is immortal, and all who defy him will one day pay the price. Are we making a small <laughs> cult here or something? What is happening? Poor girl is having her mind absolutely broken. Ouch. You must face the truth, Sataria. You tread a treacherous path, and the longer you ignore it, the tighter the academia's grasp on you will become, and the deeper you will be ensnared. Child of the Scarlet King, never forget that the desert that belongs to you lies elsewhere. What's so strange about becoming a believer of the wise Scarlet King? In fact, aren't you the strange one? The one who still can't pick a side? What an absurd question. You make it sound like I should be ashamed for becoming a believer of the Scarlet King. Sitaria, why haven't you gone home? This poor girl! Ash is fine. <laughs> sure. Doing all right there? Uh, it seems that no matter where I run, I only keep finding more believers of the Scarlet King. I have to say, this is a familiar feeling. I've also been running from my guilt this whole time. Guilt over my part in the Sage's plans. And from ignoring the letters from the children of my homeland. But no yeah. matter how much I may try to ignore and get rid of it, my guilt always comes back. <laughs> you should follow your heart. You would not be so cruel to select that one, would you? Of course I would. <laughs> you won't necessarily lose your research opportunities by facing the truth. Besides, did you really want to conduct your research while carrying such heavy feelings of guilt? How do you know me so well? Are you truly just a believer of the Scarlet King? Or are you the god himself? It is me, like Daniel said, the Scarlet uh, King! That's not important. The important thing is to pass judgment on the Academia and its sages, and to correct their mistakes. If you could provide some assistance in this matter, Perhaps it could serve as a form of atonement. Oh boy. I've actually never believed in the gods, but I've always believed in serendipity. Your appearance must be a fated opportunity for me to get out of this wretched situation. Yes, get out of it. A, that's a great idea. I'm confused. How do these people not believe in the gods? When they literally have her locked up in a room? Um, or like the people of Inazuma didn't believe in Zhongli, even though he literally walked around them all the time. I think... Okay, with Li Wei, I have no idea because like every year he would come down and give them new rules, but... He's... It was a little hard to deny the fact that he existed. But for uh, Sumeru, um, it seems like most of the people do believe in the gods. They just don't care, in a sense. Because, or at least cared about the last one, but not the current one. Yeah, because from what I can tell, most of the people we've met here either believe in the Scarlet King, but he's dead, or on vacation or something. Like super, super dead. Like straight dead. And then, yeah, the new Dendro Archon, apparently only a, uh, most of the people don't care. There's only a small group that cares about Kusanali. It seems like a very messy situation. Please tell me. What can I do for you? Great, we finally broken her. <clears throat> That's not what that said. How much do you know about the Sage's current activities? I was just one of the designers for the Mast Dream Harvest Scheme, which is what happened around the Subzeru's festival. Oh, so you're one of the people that <laughs> is the reason that happened. Great. But I know very little about the full scope of the overall project. I'd assume that only staff with the highest clearance would have access to those confidential documents. Ah, oh, darn. I've just been working to meet the Grand Sage's specified requirements. However, there's something that's been really bothering me. 
I heard that a scholar who was previously expelled has returned to the city. And even the sages are still quite wary of him. An outcast that even the sages are still wary of? To fight against the academia, we will need to figure out the nature and the purpose of their work. Is there a way for us to get access to the confidential documents you mentioned? It should be possible if we're willing to take some risks. After all, I'm an assistant to the Grand Sage. Okay. And I've been working on many tasks outside of the project. I hope we don't get this girl killed or something. That would be awful. I mean... She's not entirely bad. She just well, kind of... Well, except she was just totally okay with putting the lives of all the people in the city at risk. Yeah, and that's... And then torturing them as well. Yeah, she really... I don't, a good have a, guy. I don't have a lot of sympathy. Either. No, it, it's more the fact if that something she just, bad happens. Kind of brought it on herself. She did bring it upon herself. Yeah, I just hope. I hope she can atone and she can like change. One thing though, I won't be able to transfer the documents to you through the Akasha once I get my hands on them. The sages have always closely monitored all activities within the Akasha. That doesn't sound sus at all. Um, let me see. Uh, let's use the most primitive method. Send someone to pick up the documents tomorrow evening at the Academia entrance. Wait! The Academia entrance. <laughs> Wouldn't that be too conspicuous? Wait! Don't worry about that. I assure you, this won't be a trap. Well, I, whoa, whoa, whoa. We gotta go back to the primitive comment and everything. Like, sending someone to pick up a document is primitive? <laughs> That's... What?! <laughs> Ah, don't worry about it. I mean, they have instant mind transfer knowledge abilities. Physically walking somewhere and picking something up would be trivial. I'm only <sighs> suggesting this location because it'll draw more scrutiny for me to leave the academia again. It'll be safest for me to distract the guards long enough to hand you the documents. Fantastic. All right, I trust you. So, uh, if I were to successfully complete this task, would it mean I've atoned for my wrongdoings? I mean, don't fall back into them yeah, afterwards. I would definitely repent and, you know, change course. Maybe, I don't know, go don't, work somewhere else? Don't be a horrible person. Yeah. Um, that'll depend on the judgment of the Dendro Archon. Uh oh. Were we supposed to say that? Ah. The Dendro Archon. That's right. Her people are the ones we have endangered. As the God of Wisdom, <sighs> she's also the one responsible <sighs> for judging and guiding the scholars. Thank God she didn't catch that. Ooh. Maybe it's time for me to find a god to believe in. She's literally locked in a room. Just as Nahida predicted, we've managed to bring Sataria to our side. Fantastic. The Traveler's execution was ingenious. He's the one who deserves all the praise. Only, uh, tripped twice in the beginning. Well, now that we've made plans to meet again tomorrow evening, all we can do is pray for Sataria's mission to go off without a hitch. Pray? But if we're going to pray to the gods, aren't we just praying to you? God of wisdom and guardian of the scholars? <laughs> Me? No, no. The truth is the true guardian of scholars. I've always believed that. Anyway, let's what? meet again tomorrow evening at the Adventurer's Guild. The Just like truth. The truth in general, like truth. Yeah, truth is pretty hype. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reality okay. is reality. <sighs> Nothing is sweeter than a nice cup of reality. Well, let's talk to everyone now. Or have I lost that dialogue? Whoa. No, okay, what good. What happened just now? Wasn't I talking with Sitaria? Where'd she go? Aw. Akeem, I'm sorry. Sorry, bruh. <sighs> I seem to have dozed off just now. Maybe I studied way too late last night? Oh, I'm sorry. Can I help you with anything? <laughs> nah, I'm fine. Uh, mercenary around? I'm not seeing her. No. The cop is gone. All we have to do is wait. Achievement. I love five free primos. Ooh, that's right. Wait, no. Wait. Until what time? Uh, I wasn't 
paying attention to that. Uh, Samantha's wine tastes 1900. The same. 1924. So just after 19. Hey, with Nahida. All right. Soap. Catherine, we're here. Oh, um, you are the other Catherine, right? <laughs> That's right. Mm. I suppose I'm the other Catherine in your mind. Can we just call her Nahida? Right? Shh. We're on a secret mission tonight, so we need to protect Catherine's identity. Right. Yep, Paimon's right. We cannot fully rule out the chance that the meetup tonight is just a trap. Mm. If something were to happen, my existence may be the only trump card we'll be able to play. After all, the Academia should still be unable to confirm the existence of my consciousness in the outside world. Yep, yep. Exactly. Just what Paimon was thinking. I somehow doubt that. Mm, anyway, enough about that. Let's just make sure to be on our guard. Speaking of which, don't you feel like something is off? It's off? too easy. What do you feel is off? This is way too it's easy. It's a little too quiet around here to trap. It's oh, flip. In the middle of the night. Of course it's quiet. You're not getting paranoid, are you? No, but there's literally no one. No, I think he's right. It really is a lot quieter than usual. If you look around, there seems to be fewer people on the streets. I'm not sure if this is the case for the entire city, though. Uh, oh no, did they lock everyone away again? Huh. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Maybe Sataria figured out a way to not only distract the guards, but also to get everyone to go to sleep early, just so we can exchange the documents in peace. That is really optimistic I thinking right there. can't figure out why things feel a little off. But now that we're here, let's go ahead and meet her as we planned. Well, regardless, as long as you're here with us, Paimon feels a little safer. About that. Ah, I, can I cannot see this going as planned. Or to plan. Huh. There really aren't many people out right now. Oh, well, there's at least Let's some. hope it'll be this quiet in front of the academia and that Sataria managed to distract all the guards. This is gonna go so south so fast. There are some people, but there sure are a lot less people. Dude, everyone in this area is just gone. What the heck? Also, I don't think we've gone up to the Academia yet. Hmm. It's the uh, big blue building up here. We have a teleporter to it. Oh, oh, we did go up here for a second. Okay, then. What is happening? Oh, cutscene time. Baby, let's go. Um, what are all these people doing here at this hour of the night? <sighs> what? No, don't. Guys, it's a trap. Ah, um, the triumphant hero returns at last. Oh, Flip, here's the... Yeah. Uh -oh. And to a rather spectacular welcome. What did you do to all of these people? So myself. You're the outcast, expelled from the academia. Indeed oh. I am. Although these days they tend to call me the doctor. <laughs> oh, what an entrance! If you're looking for your researcher friend, she has already been taken into confinement. With some well, crap. basic caution, she could have discovered the listening device on her person. Clearly, she lacks the degree of rigor expected of a true scholar. <sighs> this is very bad. The people of Samir City! What have you done to them? I simply made some minor adjustments to their Akasha terminals. Now they can deposit information directly into the subconscious. Great! As you can see, all these lovely people now believe this traveler is a hero who has just saved the world. <laughs> My experiment is a success. And now it seems they can no longer hold back their sheer adoration. What the flip? What should we do? These are all just Th regular people! This is freaky, man! Leave now. You need to get out of here. What? That guy's a Fatui Harbinger! We can't just leave you here! Nor can I abandon the people of Samaru! Okay! Hey! Yeah! 
Yo! Oh, let's beat him up now. Yeah, there you Don't go. Don't worry. We'll meet again outside of the city. Uh, I mean, but we could... I mean, with everyone pacified, you could... I see. You appear to have overridden their mental faculties with your own consciousness. To possess such a powerful mind, you must be the god of wisdom. And you mm. don't seem to care. What? I mean, she's a little occupied at the moment. I know, but like, how powerful is the doctor? <sighs> Dang. <sighs> Wait. Be Needs to catch your breath first. Wait, Daniel. Yeah? We've yet again been run out of the city. The main city. We're yet again wanted fugitives. Not, again. Not technically yet. Uh, but nearly. Going to be nearly. Okay? We only made it out because of her. She can jump uh, between mines. Hopefully she'll be fine. Paimon wasn't counting on running into a new harbinger here. Let alone such a high-ranking one. That guy was number two. Yo, wait. Blah, blah, blah. So what? Scary. Come again? The doctor's number two. I thought I ranked him as number two. Huh. What? Mm, he called himself the doctor. Remember, Tainari told us about him. Sataria did say that someone who once got expelled from the academia came back recently. Is the doctor ranked that high because he split into multiple people? Maybe? Maybe? I wonder. So maybe this one isn't the strongest version of him. Maybe. Yeah, I want. Even the sages are I wary of him. Yep. Sounds like she must have been talking about the doctor. Wait, but if he was expelled, how did he get back in? Well, he probably overrode everyone. Oh, we underestimated the scale of this problem. Yeah. Now that the doctor's in the picture, we're no longer just dealing with the academia. They're in cahoots with the Fatui. Yeah. But what are the Fatui after this time? Another Gnosis? Hmm. We need another way to reunite with Nahida. Yeah. Things would be a lot easier with Nahida's help. Nahida said we'll meet again outside of the city. But we can't just keep waiting around, right? Let's go find someone else who might be involved. Uh, Sounds good. You mean... Let's go find Tainari. Oh, oh! Right! Wasn't he invited by the sages to work on some project when we were staying with him in the Vidya Forest? That has to be the same project. This is how we're getting to the desert because Tainari knows Sino. Ah. Uh, right! Okay. Even though he turned it down at the time, he might still know something. Hmm, okay. No I mean, I think that's what Let's it's gonna be. Let's go to Darvaville. 